Hello and a very warm welcome to finals day here at the Toyota Thailand Open. And thanks for dropping by for Morton and my pre-finals little chat. Well, the first of our finals is an all-Korean affair. Lee So-hee and Sung Shang chan up against Kim So-young and Kong Hee-yong. Now, I know some people have thought that maybe an all-Korean final might be a little bit boring, but anybody who thinks that is missing the whole point of world-class women's doubles. Morton, I think this should be a tremendous match. Um, it has all the potential. I, I think you're right. And uh, in all honesty, I think the, the two pairs last week did not perform to expectations. I had expected at least one of the pairs to make it to the finals, but this week they have redeemed themselves. And I thought last week, watching uh, Kim and Kong, I thought Kong was the weak link. She seemed a little bit off the pace, but as this tournament, this second tournament has been going on, I think she's been getting better and better. Totally agree. I think she's uh, playing herself into form. And uh, as you rightly say, she has played better and better, her timing is better, her placement is better, her movement is better, so yes, I do agree with you on that. And I know that when we were commentating on one of their matches earlier in the week, we were talking about the fact that Kim So Young is the creative one. Yeah. She's the one that's going to try and go forward to the net, create opportunities, and you particularly liked the way that she defended and turned defence into attack. Exactly. She's, she's very proactive, and I like that. And especially in her defence, she's looking for these counter-attacking opportunities, turning it around and then, of course, scoring the points. And uh, I think that can be a key in, in the match today for... for uh, for that pair. So, okay, so if Kim So Young is the key and perhaps her front court play, yes. when I think of Lee and uh, Shin Sung Chan, yeah. I think of two players who are very good in all departments. I yes. don't really think of one of them as the front court player and one as the rear court player. But if they're playing against a pair with Kim really looking to come forward, then their opponents have got to do something different. Surely one of them has got to try and take yeah. Kim So Young on at the front of the court. And that will be Shin. That will be Shin? In, in my opinion, that will okay. be Shin as I see it. I think she's slightly stronger at the front and she's going to go in and try to challenge and, and try to set it up as best as she can for their partnership. Um, in my, my little book, I think that um, Lee So Hee and, and Shin are perhaps the favourites to win today. But, you know, it's yeah, well, so, yes, so, so close. It's so close, we it's don't close. know. Well, our second final of the day, men's doubles, and Aaron Chiar and So Week, who were in the final of the All England uh, in 2019, up against last week's champions, Li Yang and Wan Chilin. Yeah. Li Yang and Wan Chilin last yeah. week looked superb. I also thought in their semi-final yesterday against the reigning world champions, Asan and Setiawan, I thought they were very impressive. Yeah, they've had a, a good run last week, this week, uh, pressure's on, they are on paper, favourites to win, and that's not always very nice to have that kind of pressure. Uh, on the other hand, the two youngsters from Malaysia have absolutely no pressure, it's been, been a while since they've been into a final, I think it's about two years at the All yes. England yeah. in March 19. So, um, and the only thing I think that really can mount the pressure on the two Malaysians, sort of on the uh, mental side of it, is the fact that they have never, ever won a tournament. Yeah, that's, that's a really yeah. good point. But I want to come back to the, the sort of styles of play we can expect to see, because Li Yang, as we talked last week, is so fast at the front of the court. I mean, he's, he, if he's on form, he's absolutely electric. Is there a similar uh, front court player with the Malaysians? Is there one that's really creative? I would say Aaron Cha. Yeah. Uh, is, is more creative than uh, So Weak. Um, but they, they play a different style of play and they are more standing side by side. Um, but if anyone is pushing to the net and taking the chances, it's usually Aaron Cha. So in other words, we're going to have sort of contrasting styles because I very much think that the pair from Chinese Taipei, they like to have the old fashioned attacking yes. formation of one at the front, yeah. one at the back. Whereas you're saying that the Malaysians will be happier uh, side by side, not necessarily all defensive. No, no, definitely and, not. And definitely the not. development of the, women, of the men's doubles game where we have this sides attack formation now. Yeah. But it is contrasting styles and that always makes for an interesting match. 
It does, and, and I think the Malaysian would do almost anything not to lift it. Yeah. So, so when we say side by side, it's definitely not a defensive way of looking at it. They will push their base position up and they will be very aggressive. I don't think they want to lift anything yeah. if, uh, if, if they can have their way. So another intriguing final, the men's yeah. doubles. Moving on, uh, women's singles. It's a repeat of last week's final. Yeah. It looked to us clearly that the world number one, Tai Su Ying, was not 100%, uh, not feeling well. Uh, she didn't make any excuses, no. refused to, uh, praised her opponent. But Carolina Marin, over these last two weeks, I don't think she's dropped a game in any of her, her matches. No. Tai Su Ying had to survive four match points yesterday. in her yeah. semi-final yesterday against uh, two-time former champion Ratchan Okintadon. And I think it will be a, a different final today. But what's going to be the key? Because we've seen Carolina Marins, her speed and her real intensity within every single rally. How do you counteract that? Um, you've got to be very steady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the thing is that uh, if Marin is getting her way, she's, as you say, overpowering her opponent with pace. You simply cannot follow pace. Um, the thing is that uh, if anyone can follow, it will be Tai Su Ying. And she's got the technique, she's got the shots and uh, to, to stay with Marin. And um, I think we are in for a very intriguing match today. I think it's going to be a lot, lot closer than what we saw last week. So do I. But uh, one thing I sort of felt last week in the final was that Carolina Marin was, um, to me, was controlling the front of the court. I think her, her splashes from the back of the court and the way she followed forward, she was so quick following forward. And I'm wondering whether Tai Su Ying has got to focus a little bit more on taking control of that front court area. If she she's going to win today? Um, I think it's a good point and she can do it with deceptive shots. We know that she's got them all in the toolbox. It's, it's, it's a matter of whether she's bringing them out and whether she can bring them out safely, not making mistakes. On the other hand, I also raised a point last time we were discussing this situation that uh, sometimes, also over the past two weeks, when we look at Marin, she's playing so fast that more mistakes are also creeping into her game. Yes, good point. So, I, it's, it, it, again, as I said last time, she's got to find that very fine, nice balance between the pace and not too many mistakes. Yeah. Well, again, a very interesting final. We then move on to men's singles. It's an all Danish affair. It's only the fourth time in Super Series and now World Tour history that we've had an all Danish men's singles final. And what a story behind this, because Hans Christian Wietinghus <laughs> decided he was going to buy his air ticket, yeah. get on the aeroplane here World to 42. Bangkok. <laughs> And he wasn't even in the draws, he was on the reserve list. Yes. And here he is in a final of a Super 1000. He even had his air ticket booked to go back last night because he didn't think that he, would... he really had a chance against Antonsen. Of course, Antonsen, there was clearly something wrong with Antonsen. But playing against a man, Victor Axelsen, today in today's final, Axelsen is going for a Super 1000 slam yeah. for the 2020 World Tour yeah. series. He's won the All England, he won last week at the second of the Super 1000s. Yeah. He's going for a slam. Yeah. That draw of trying to make history is the first singles player ever to do that. I see Victor Axelsson, he's looked uh, <laughs> enthused, in, excited, he's looked sharp the entire two weeks. And I think he will be absolutely up for this final and making history. Don't know what to add to it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. Of course, uh, it's, it's a fairy tale story for for beating Goose. I, it brings a smile to our faces. It because certainly does. It's, it's very deserved, and I think he has played really well this tournament. He's had some good wins, and being world ranked number 42 and getting all the way to the final here is is a feast for him. I think he's done really well. However, I there's a but. There is a but. <laughs> First of all, they know one another's game so well. And secondly, I possibly think that Victor Axelsen is going to hit right through the defense of Wittinghus.
That's what's bothered me because I, I, uh, I know that Vittinghus is, has got a very good defence. Uh, he's a great runner. But when you're playing against, as all the other men's singles players have found out these yeah. last two weeks, when you're playing against Axelsson, the steepness of his smashes and his physicality, his height, he's six foot four. Yeah. It is so terribly difficult to counteract that. And I don't see where Wittinghus is going to win his points. He's going to have to rely heavily on Axelsson making errors. Yes. And I think Axelsson is playing far too well for that to happen. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's making the errors at the moment. So it's, it's very interesting. Yes. Well, the last of our finals is uh, mixed doubles. Puavara Nukro and Teirat Tanachai up against the Koreans, Su and Che. That should be a terrific match. All finals should be terrific. Join us very shortly for All Finals Live. Bye for now.